Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Davison School Board member and chair of the Genesee County Republican Party, Matthew Smith, has been sentenced after pleading guilty to malicious use of telecommunication services. Smith admitted to calling Houghton County Clerk Jennifer Kelly in 2020, but says it was to annoy her. Kelly claims Smith threatened to kill her dogs, but he denied that threat. Smith has been placed on one year probation, ordered to pay $650 in fines and court costs, complete more than 200 hours of community service, complete a cognitive awareness program, and write an essay. He's been ordered to have no contact with Kelly. Across the state, hospitals are reporting a record number of COVID patients with roughly 4,900 people hospitalized with confirmed or suspected cases. As the Omicron variant continues to fuel a rapid surge in cases, health officials fear the spike is weakening the idea of natural immunity. Now, Dr. Nicholas Haddad with Central Michigan University says that immunity against other variants has shown to be effective for six to eight months, but with Omicron, four out of five people who developed natural Natural immunity through previous infection are at risk. Well, two former Michigan officials do in court today for their involvement in the Flint water crisis. Medical executive Eden Wells faces nine counts of involuntary manslaughter, two counts of misconduct, and one count of willful neglect. Nancy Peeler, the current early childhood health section manager, will also be in court. She faces two counts of misconduct in office and one count of willful neglect of duty. These hearings are set for 2 p.m. and stay with TV5 for updates. Here's John now with a look at your forecast. Thank you very much, Blake. Let's go over the forecast as we're going throughout a Tuesday. It looks like we stay mainly dry today, partly to mostly cloudy. We could get a few peaks of sunshine in later on this afternoon. I think that better chance will be the further south you go. Not as cold. We're in the 20s, but it will be a breezy day. South southwest winds there at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, and we continue with the breezy conditions into tonight. Temperatures actually slowly rising as we go throughout the overnight period into the upper 20s near 30. More clouds as we're going into your Wednesday. Uh, there it is. Seven day forecast could have some snow showers to talk about by the afternoon and evening on Wednesday. Some light accumulations will be on the table and then it's just going to be some low end snow shower chances. No big storm systems, but that will carry us as we go into the upcoming weekend. In the first one five weather center, I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV five on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.